Hi there Smart Drivers, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about slip lanes and turning right at complex intersections. This is video number 9 in the VEDA series. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there Smart Drivers, welcome back talking to you today about skills and techniques that you can put in place to turn right at complex intersections that have slip lanes and turning lanes. Now if you're new to Smart Drive Test, Smart Drive Test helps new drivers get a license, veteran drivers to remain crash free and CDL drivers to start a career as a truck or bus driver. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as well hit that bell that way you'll get instant notification when I get the videos up for you. Right hand turning lanes are often equipped with yield signs they're also equipped with crosswalks and the crosswalks are the road markings on the roadway. Sometimes there'll be crosswalk signs at the slip lane, other times there will not, but the crosswalks are the large rectangular uh, dotted lines across the slip lane. If you're driving a passenger vehicle, oftentimes you can stop in front of the crosswalk to wait for cross traffic to clear and you can merge into the road onto which you're turning. If you're driving a larger vehicle, you're going to have to stop beh behind the crosswalk, a bus, a truck, or an RV unit, and wait for the uh, pedestrian traffic to clear and the cross traffic to clear before you proceed around on a right-hand turn. As well, there's a yield here, and you're going to have to yield to all other road users and pedestrians. And sometimes, as today, there can be a lot of activity, and you're going to have to do a lot of shoulder checking, and you're going to have to do a lot of scanning as you're approaching and as you're turning right. Now, when you go around the corner and you turn right, make sure that you move into the spaces between the vehicles. Don't merge in beside another vehicle because that vehicle turning left or coming through the intersection could unexpectedly move over into your lane and you could potentially have a point of conflict where you're at risk of being involved in a crash. So know that at a slip lane at a complex intersection and just lots of scanning, lots of shoulder checking and again, if you're driving a passenger vehicle, stop in front of the crosswalk. If you're driving a larger vehicle, stop behind the crosswalk. Question for my smart drivers. Do you have slip lanes and turning lanes that you have to deal with in and around the areas where you drive and do they cause you grief? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers and veteran drivers working to be safer. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button. For new drivers, click the link right here, pick up past your road test first time, and as well, look down in the description to get your 30% discount. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck in your road test. And remember, pick up fast answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.